What's up, busy bodies? It's your girl, Busy Body Bree, and we are back and we're better with another fucking video. What's the limit? There never was one. And in today's video, you already know what it is. We are Amazon trapping, baby. I don't got that much. I only got 111 stops. I am at my first stop currently. But I wanted to check in with y'all, start this video off, and let y'all know how I've been. Currently, I'm having some type of lip reaction with whatever lip glosses and bombs I've been putting on my lip or whatever. Like, it's been having my lips, like, really itchy, like, and really dry and, like, flaky. I don't know. Like, I never had this issue. And I used to buy, like, really cheap lip glosses and stuff from the beauty supply store and never had an issue or whatever with lip glosses or anything. But I guess since I've been working this job, my lips have been getting penetrated with the sun, baby. And I don't know, it's probably too much. So they told me to go ahead, just use Vaseline by itself. But like, I don't know, it's not doing the job. Like, cause my lips still feel dry as hell. Like, so that's a slight update. I'm hoping that, you know, whatever reaction or whatever is going on fucking calms down eventually. Cause I can't do it no more. My hair is looking a little rough cause I did not do my edges this morning and yeah i just fucking just woke up because i was tired or whatever i worked yesterday which was sunday like my work week usually is sunday through wednesday or whatever and so i worked yesterday was not even gonna come in but i ended up coming in in two but i did not get off until like fucking 10 at night so i still ended up getting my eight hours in or whatever but i got off late so yeah let me go ahead and unload this damn bag while, while we getting ready. Because I got to go. It's time for me to get done. Even though I just began. So, oh shit. I ain't even checked to see if this is the right bag. Because I had to preload my uh van or whatever today. Four ninety eight. Yeah, it is the right bag. And then the box that I'm looking for is 9.35. And then I got a box that's not in the bag that's 9.34. So, yeah. I first start off by, you know, putting all my boxes in the front seat. So, I can easily access it. So, yeah. We're going to do that first. 9.35. I'm still looking for the box 9.35. Okay. That's 9.35. Breaking y'all stuff. <laughs> it go through way more trauma. <laughs> it go through way more trauma in the shipment center than a little talk, okay? But yeah, y'all. Lately, I just been thinking about what I can do or whatever, so I can bring in some more money. Like, cause I don't want to be working for the man all my life. So at this point, I was basically looking for my box that was outside of my package bags or whatever because they be having like random boxes. They usually be too big to fit in the tote bags. So yeah, I think the customer ended up getting some tissue or some shit like that. Maybe some paper towels or whatever. Okay. But so, yeah, they could have got that stuff, that, but it's okay. Whatever, about to deliver this and I'm gonna come back. Two boxes. I gotta carry two boxes. This is what I'm delivering to one address. One will be back. Onto Livingston Drive. Like one of the biggest things that be pissing me off or whatever about this job is people will see that you're trying to deliver and still try to squeeze through you through the street, knowing it ain't that much space. We on this narrow ass street. Wait your turn. You see, I'm trying to drop out this package. Kind of fuck down. Another pet peeve. If you know that you're delivering, or again, some um some packages delivered, 
and you got a vicious ass dog, put that motherfucker up. Don't nobody want to deal with that bullshit. Got me out here trying to fight for my life. I only get paid twenty an hour. Come on now, quit playing with me. And and, and 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 you really think, and you really think that's enough to deal with me getting attacked? It's not. I won't do it, and I refuse to. And another thing. If you know that you keep your dog in the backyard, why did you tell me to deliver to the backyard? That's another red flag. Let's not do that. Let's not do that at all. But I'm going to this next stop, y'all. I did two stops so far. So this is my third one. Yeah. Let's get her done. I'm probably going to come back after I finish my route or whatever or once I take my break. I don't know. But I definitely want to update y'all on my life and stuff and get y'all hip to everything. We back, busy bodies. And I'm thinking about taking my 15-minute break right now. I'm going to show y'all how many stops I got. So, currently, I have 80 stops left. So... Yeah, I, I think that's a reasonable time period to start my 15. I'm glad. It's like I done brought my little child with me to work or whatever, y'all. Y'all are my children. Y'all are my children. And, you know, I had to bring my kid to work today. But, um, them first stops, they was decent or whatever. I just hate going up a lot of stairs. I ain't dealt with no dogs or anything. So we're doing good. Um, I'm kind of a little hungry. Even though they did provide like some snacks or whatever. Today at work they gave us a donut and um, like a breakfast pizza. And I ate that shit. I definitely ate it. But I don't know. Today I'm just feeling a little bit hungry. And it's my time of the month. I got my handy dandy Germex. Always stay safe out here. You know they say we supposed to be masking up uh, back up again because, you know, COVID ain't never left. If y'all got shot COVID shot, say I, because I'm quiet. Look, <laughs> I, I am quiet. I do not. But, hey, it is what it is. So, I got some tuna or whatever for lunch today. And we're going to eat this. Um, I've been trying to unbig my back, y'all. I've been trying, as you could tell from the previous videos. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put this tuna on my little sandwich. It's okay. I don't. Should I show y'all on my little tuna? It's not like anything extravagant. Right now, I'm broke and I need money. So I'm rich. I'm just waiting on my payment. I'm just waiting on my payment, baby. That's it. I'm just going to eat me a good old sandwich. I was supposed to be done in like five. I wasn't even going to go in today, to be honest. Because yesterday, I didn't get off until like 10 o'clock. Didn't go to sleep until like 2 o'clock. But it be so hard, it seems like, once you get home to actually settle down and get your brain done and, like, rest it. Because my brain, I have ADHD, so it's constantly always moving. And that's the shitty part. Like, I'm constantly always thinking. And that's why I be having to smoke a blunt. Just so my brain can be on calm mode. But, um, yeah, yeah. Trying to knock this shit out. I really am. But it's really cool that y'all came to work with me or whatever. Y'all get to figure out how it feel to be an Amazon driver. I mean, I'm having a decent day, even though it's my time of the month. I started off cramping really bad. I went to the gas station and bought one of those singles Motrin packets. 
that um the crop started um you know sub subsiding after that so we maybe can get through this today damn and they got me in the hood today, boy. I used to wear it. It just be just ghetto shit after ghetto shit. You just never know what you finna expect. What you finna get. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna eat my food. I eat messy, so I'm gonna come back. All right, busybodies. Thank you so much for coming with me to take my child to work day. I am so glad that y'all came along with me and got to kind of get a little experience of, you know, what I do for a living, just a little smidge bit. But um I also want to use this vlog as like um kind of barrier to talk about my weight loss journey. I have been stopped the biggest reason that I started uh, working for Amazon is because I'm trying to unbig my back by tomorrow. And I knew that if I gave myself no other choice by getting a job that forces me to work, that I had no other choice but to lose this weight. I felt like I was in such a depression, a depressional funk that like I couldn't get out of. So this job has really helped me to, you know, to really stop being lazy and stuff. From the very first day from now, I have made complete changes. I think I started in June or, yeah, I started in June and it's August. And those few months, June, July, August, yeah, those three months, I have seen complete changes in just me being able to complete my routes and stuff. My very first route was so fucking hard because I was so tired after five minutes of dropping off packages. Now, this route, I went through the whole time. My body is not sore. I was going upstairs all day today, and I did my shit. I took care of my business, and I handled it. And it's 6.30, and I'm done with my route. So, I'm on my 15-minute break, and I just wanted to let y'all know, you know, in the closing out video, to start somewhere. It starts today. Don't don't say tomorrow. Don't say Monday. Today. Like, for real. Start that shit today. Because you ain't doing nothing but wasting time. And time is money. And do we really want to sit back and look at our lives and be like, I wish I could have, should have, would have. If I did this, I would have been here. No, start here today so you can stop having these I should have, could have, would have in your mind. But I just want to say thank you so much. Y'all see your girl. It's sweating and I'm hot. But I'm finna go ahead and enjoy the rest of my little 15 minute break. It's six minutes and 33 seconds has passed. So I, only, I don't got that much left for my 15 minute break. But after that, yeah, I'm headed back to the station. And yeah, taking my ass home and smoking a blunt. You know how we get down. Love y'all. See y'all in the next vlog.